the Cleveland County Sheriff says employees are getting paid. Well, commissioners told us Monday the sheriff's payroll is short, almost half a million dollars. We've been continuing to follow this. KOCO's Dakota Wapakichi spoke with that sheriff today who says this budget problem is not impacting paychecks. Come on, Chris. No, come on, Rod. No, no, come on. I'm not, be, I'm be, not be better, be better than that. Hey, the stuff citizens of Cleveland for. County deserve better than this. Tensions rising regarding the Cleveland County Sheriff's Office budget. The sheriff, treasurer, assessor, clerk, and commissioners met inside the county courthouse discussing what the agenda said was the sheriff's office budget issue. County Commissioner Rod Cleveland said the sheriff was short of money in their budget on Monday when it came to payroll. And their general fund account um, only had $25,000 in it. They submitted $515,000, and so that was is a deficit. After today's meeting, Sheriff Chris Amison told us the commissioner's remarks on his office being in a deficit are false. So to say that I have overspent my, my budget is a lie, and I'm, I'm tired of this narrative being pushed by them because it's simply not true. Cleveland in today's meeting says this impacted not only the sheriff's office, but the county's entire workforce, but that they're all going to get their paychecks. They will be paid, and I will make sure of it. Uh, we're, we're not going to let a, one of our employees go without a paycheck. Amoson, during the meeting, says they're working on a plan to get them through the fiscal year. You know, we've been uh, saying that there were errors in these, in, in these numbers for a long time, and and to have them finally corrected is great. Amoson says he has a plan, but did not tell us what that consisted of. The county's budget board agreeing today to hear that plan another time with no date set for the meeting. In Norman, Dakota Wapakichi, KOCO 5 News.